Um, Doug, a short while ago today, there's been a briefing from the Pentagon. Now, they're saying they can or they intend to stick to that deadline to get people out by August the 31st in a week's time. What do you make of, of that? Uh, that they're under intense pressure right now to try to get as many, and they keep emphasizing Americans, even though they add to them other vulnerable Afghans and the ones who have special immigrant visas. But the, the focus is really getting on, as they keep saying, as many Americans out as possible. Uh, the pen, that press conference, actually, at the Pentagon is, is still ongoing, as, as I speak. Uh, but you're absolutely right. The basic line out of the Pentagon is as everyone sort of holds their breath and waits for the possibility that Joe Biden will indicate or make a decision on whether or not he is ready and willing to extend that August 31st deadline for this evacuation, that is to keep uh, U.S. troops in Afghanistan beyond that August 31st deadline. Um, as everyone awaits for that, the Pentagon is sort of trying to hold the line. They can't really say anything one way or the other, so they're hedging their bets. They're basically saying, as of this hour, the military, uh, the U.S. military uh, Defense Department is acting uh, according to the, the plan as it stands now, which is the deadline is August 31st. They're trying to get as many Americans out. They have been stepping up, accelerating the pace of those evacuations. Uh, over the past few days, and, and the general at the Pentagon, one of them uh, uh, told reporters just a few minutes ago that uh, they have sort of a record number of evacuations in the past 24 hours, 21,600. And that number is sort of a combined total of um, people evacuated both by U.S. military aircraft and also what they call coalition, that is non-U.S. Uh, aircraft, military and otherwise, out of the country. So they're trying to sort of project this image of a Pentagon, a Defense Department, hard at work, trying to stick to that deadline to make sure they could get all the Americans out. Um, Pentagon expressing optimism, the State Department and, 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 and Joe Biden's national security advisor, as he says, expressing optimism that they will be able to get all Americans out. And I keep stressing Americans. I know a lot of people might say, well, what about the Afghans and the other special immigrant visas? The focus from the Pentagon Pentagon seems to be first priority, get all the Americans out. Get as many of the special immigrant visa Afghans out as well and other vulnerable Afghans. That's a formulation they're using. Uh, they're trying to let people know if they continue at this pace, they think they could get all the Americans out that they want. Question was asked, are they sticking just to the airport? Are they doing extraction miss missions going outside the perimeter of the airport, which is very risky, as you know, sending troops outside to actually pluck out Americans, bring them to the airport? Uh, they would not say whether or not that was indeed happening. There's certainly, there's no indication that they're going beyond Kabul at this point. But even outside the airport, there's no indication that there are active operations underway right now to get Americans from outside the airport into the airport. So some optimism then from the Pentagon that by this August 31st deadline, they can get Americans, as you say, um, out. But nonetheless, here in Europe, there is pressure, isn't there, on the administration to extend that deadline. Um, there's a G7 meeting coming up. Well, it's happening at the moment. We're yeah. expecting press conferences uh, later on today. Um, Joe Biden is to speak. Do we have any sense of what he's going to say on this really rather thorny issue? Um, it's all speculation at this moment. No one can, you know, really guess. But, but judging by the tenor and the tone of that Pentagon press conference and also what uh, reportedly his own national security advisors have been telling Joe Biden that for security reasons it would be extremely risky. They've been talking recent days not just about the Taliban but, but of other terrorist groups including uh, the Islamic State group in that area which could potentially launch some sort of attack. That's what their real major concern is. They're doing everything in their power to indicate and, and my hunch would be that Joe Biden is, tr is leaning in favor of keeping to that August 31st deadline. Yes, even if that means flouting the will of and the pressure of the Europeans, as you said, who would like to extend it. France says if the U.S. cannot extend that deadline between uh, beyond August 31st, then it will be ending its own evacuation efforts in Thursday, Thursday evening. That's two days' time. Why? Because the Europeans simply don't have the military or the other resources or wherewithal to stay in and continue their own evacuations if the 6,000 U.S. troops are pulling out with their weapons and equipment. All right. Thank you very much, uh, 